I am turning it to the on position and I'm starting this carnage up. It runs, damn it. So for all y'all that said fake news, for all y'all that said fake news, running and driving carnage. All right, guys, can you guess what the first one is this week? The first one on my list is an old school MG. Now, if you don't know what an MG is, it's an old little British car. Oh, that's so cool. They put a fake plastic top on it. This thing looks really cool. It is definitely something I am highly interested in. It looks like the hood is already off. All right. But you can see the motor there. I don't want to cut myself on this rusty hood. At least it's all complete. There's an alternator. Does it even have an air conditioning compressor? It sure looks that way. Okay. Now, it's going to need a lot of work, for sure. This thing would definitely need a lot of work for this little MG, this little midget car. Wow, talk about toasty. Toasty! Damn. Um, this thing would need a lot of work, but it's a classic, man. I really love these old MGs and the Triumphs. Oh, wow. Well, the hood trunk opens, some WD-40 in there, and brake fluid, which means it must have a leaky brake system more than likely. Oh, wow. Are you serious right now? Oh, you got to hit the little tab to close it. I was like, why is the trunk not closing? Because I'm about to bend the crap out of it. But the interior doesn't look horrible. Let me give you guys a look in, being I can't get in there. doesn't look too bad it's got a nice little aftermarket radio and stuff in there so I could see I could see this being a, a cool little project let me know what you guys think about the uh, MG in the comments below if you guys would like to see something like this I'm, I'm really tempted to get into something old school and this is like right up my alley all right, guys, I'm doing a quick test, 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 because I'm do using the uh, wireless mic audio at this point because the wind here is so bad. And with the rain, I want to be able to get good audio for you. So let me just run this quick test. Okay, guys, it looks like the wireless audio is pretty good. I apologize in advance should you catch any kind of interference. Gang, come on now. But I got to go for the best quality available and... Being that there's so much wind out here, you wouldn't hear me anyway if I was using device-only audio. So this is the motor. This is the next item on my list. This is a Ford Explorer police package or um, police pursuit vehicle. But it's weird because it looks like it was a fire department vehicle. Everything on here looks really good. I don't see any issues. I don't see a bunch of cut wires going to the battery or a bunch of cut stuff here in the front. So... I'm guessing they did the right job with uh, getting all of this crap off. And let me give you guys just a quick view of it itself just sitting here. You guys can get a quick uh, look at this here. It's in really good shape. It looks really good, right? It's bright red, but you can see the vehicle at one point was actually blue. Weird. It looks like it has some power, so we're going to see if it... Uh, Oh, we're going to see if uh, we can, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> make a difference here oh, as I climb in here. Let's see, what do you think? It says cali certified calibration, right, which is what you get with those police vehicles. We got power, 140,000 miles on the odometer. at this moment that he knew he fucked up oh wow did you hear that i don't know if the battery just died mid start sounded like that or the motor's locked up i'm gonna guess that's probably the issue that sucks 
Because the interior, you got the cloth in the front, the leather in the back, like normal police vehicles, but it doesn't look like this ever had a cage in it, right? You had all of your gear and equipment and stuff plugged in here, but it's crazy. There's not a ton of cut wires. There's a couple here, but no, like all your wiring harnesses where extra stuff was plugging in is this right here. I mean, let's try it one more time. It says oil change required. You think? I bet you need more than that. Yeah. They don't list this as a flood car. South Military Highway, huh? Cavalier Ford. It was just serviced. Oh, its last service was 415 of 2019 at 142,000 miles. Oh, it's next visit. Okay, okay, never mind. Pay me no mind, man. Yeah, it's 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 such a hard clunk when I turn it over that to me it sounds like the motor seized. Let's go up there and look at the oil and see if my suspicions are correct. Key off, key removed, because I'm not a dick like that. You know, sometimes we have those people that like to uh, leave the damn vehicles on so that nobody else can take a look at them. You know, dick moves. All right. Let me set you guys here for a second. Let me get this up. All right. <clears throat> and the oil is very runny, but it still looks like oil. I don't see any contaminants. I'm not seeing water. I don't see any metal flakes. That's weird. Let's open up the oil itself and see. I'm, bet, I'm, I'm willing to bet it got hydrolocked or something along those lines. I'm willing to bet it got hydrolock because that is a very hard clunk when I turn that key. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Now, do I want to mess with a hydro hydrolocked vehicle? Maybe if it was more high end, you know, like a higher end car. Maybe, maybe I would, but I don't know about right now. Hold on. It could just be the battery too, but it, that's a really hard clunk for it to be a battery. Yeah, that's just a really hard, it just sounds like the motor is probably seized for whatever reason, who knows, who knows? Sad because this was actually something I was interested in. Um, and it isn't listed as a run and drive. You can see it's a, it's a no start vehicle. But, yeah, I guess we'll check out the next one. And I apologize, guys, if you guys hear the rain or if my screen gets wet or something goes screwy. Next, I have some carnage for you guys. Woo! Say it with me. Say it with me. This one got smashed. I can't even tell you. I mean, if I didn't come to the back and see this was an Impala, you know, I mean, I saw the wheels. That kind of gives it away, too. But if you didn't look at the front of this vehicle most people would have no idea that this was a damn impala just by looking at this you know if you didn't look at that tire and you were just look could you guess what it was i don't know if i could but there's some serious carnage for y'all right there that's ridiculous man ouch next on my list is this lexus es now i don't know i don't remember looking at my list if this was a 300 or what es 300 yeah that's what it is 205,000 miles it says side damage so i'm guessing it's going to be the other side right of course it is so we're going to get over here to the other side and oh my god say it with me smashed now is this not repairable you can see here through the door that the pillar you can see through the door that the pillar is bent. So that's why this is total. This thing is, is done. I mean, it's not totally... I mean, it's not, let me be clear. This is not non-repairable. But where it has 200,000 miles on it, and this is already what? Maybe a $3,000 car? Maybe. This is not something that anybody wants to pour money into. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. 
I wouldn't be dumping money into this. It is listed as a run and drive though. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what the interior looks like. Oh, please no Badussi today. Oh, it's got a little tree. It's got an air freshener. That's a positive sign. Whew, I'm right next to something that is toasty. I'll show you all that in a second when I get in here. God. All right, how does this car smell? Oh, it doesn't stink. I like that. Oh, wow, it's leaking though. You can see the water leaking in there. It's going to smell... It's going to smell ripe here in a couple days. It will definitely smell ripe here in a couple days for sure. I got to watch my voice. I can't get too loud. The microphones are freaking out. All right. So there's that toasty vehicle. What the hell was that? A Hyundai, huh? That thing is roasted. All right. Let's see if this thing starts. Of course not. Not a thing. Oh, well. I wasn't super interested. I mean, I was interested in it because I'm looking for a Lexus. Now you guys know it's kind of like a daily driver. Just something I could beat on to just, you know, rack miles on it. Um, and this, this, you know, I was like, eh, I, you know, I didn't see the side damage. It's weird. I think whoever it is that they got taking photos now is like, they're, sometimes they just miss stuff. Or it, it doesn't populate on the website, the photo's there, and it just stays white. Kind of sucks. Anyways, I'm sure everybody else's internet is bugged out with this virus stuff. That's going to be it for this. Uh, I'm not going to spend more time on it looking at the motor and stuff. I'm not actually that interested in it. So I hear something hissing. Watch there be a snake in here, man. <laughs> Yo, you ever seen a fat guy move that fast? Woo! Hell no, nah, y'all could keep that. Hissing there all you want to. I'm good. Damn. Next one. Next on my list is this BMW 750i. M Sport, and I am super, super interested in this car. Now, this does say that it's locked. I, you know what? I'll be right back. Okay, so I've seen this trick online. <laughs> I was gonna say, what did you do, TK? I've seen this trick online where you can just like blow into the lock, and in the in the lock comes up. So I thought if I maybe just did this with my Oh, wow. Look at that. It's magic. Abracadabra. Someone's going to... I know some of you rat bastards are going to say something. All right. She's got power. God, this thing is beautiful. This is 2010. I think this is the first year of this body style with all the stuff in it. Let's... Oh, wow. Those brakes go right to the floor. Let's see if she uh, fires up. Oh, immediately. Or as my dude Viper would say, immediately. Refill coolant. Okay. We're going to shut her down now. I'm going to check the, the fluids in the engine here in a minute. 124,000 miles on the clock. Is that is that a caterpillar? Or is that... That's somebody's eyelash. That's straight nasty. Ugh. All right. Coolant level. Anything else? No other check seat calibration required. I, I'm not even worried about that. Are you trying to say I'm fat? Driver restraint system malfunction. This is all stuff when the battery dies. All right. Let's go to the home button. Let's go to the main menu. Thank you. Let's go to vehicle info. Vehicle status. Can't really check the oil level. Service required. Is there any service required? Vehicle check and engine oil. Oh, look, there is a dead spot in the screen. Can you see that in the iDrive? The cool thing is they actually make aftermarket ones now. Oh, I almost touched that eyelash. Ugh, don't want to do that right now with everything that's going on. I do love this, though. I do love that you got your CD changer and stuff right there, or DVD um, right there. I like the, the plastic wood interior in here. I love these leather seats. These are really, really nice. Oh, what is this? This is a Boss revolution probably pinless phone card I'm sure someone's already used it but if not y'all get y'all's scam on anyways seats look nice doesn't look too horrible i don't know why it's here it is listed as a run and drive it was locked <laughs> it was locked that means somebody some dickhead locked locked the car you know turn signals look like they work everything works let's see if the windows work I'm super interested in this one right here. Okay, window works. 
big sunroof in here too. Being that it's raining, I'm not going to mess with it. If I'm really interested in the car, fixing the sunroof is the least of my worries. Let's go ahead and take a look at the motor. And I think this is one of those double pulls. And this is not a fake M Sport. For y'all that don't know, you got to pull this twice. Is there anything in the gun spot? Oh, look at this Hydro Boost. Hand gel cream. Okay. I see you. I ain't touching none of that right now, though. What's crazy is the pickup date for this is not listed. I don't know how long it's been here or where it came from. It doesn't say that either. So that's super concerning to me. It is 50 degrees out. Everything else in here looks good, though. All right, let's take a look at the engine, and we'll go from there. You can't really check the oil, but I can check the coolant and stuff and see if it's got a, you know, broken hose or busted XYZ, you know what I'm saying? It's funny, I, I have to look at all these American cars to open the hoods, but I know exactly where the BMW stuff is, right? Oof, all right, let's check this coolant box. Now, if you don't know, these have like a little flower mechanism. They're all pretty much the same, man. They've been this way for years. All right. It is pretty empty. I mean, there's a little at the bottom of the box. So, and there's no way to check the oil in here, guys. There's no dipstick. The only thing I can do is open the, uh, the fill spot and see if I see moisture in there. It does fire right up, though, so I doubt... It looks good to me. I don't see any immediate moisture or buildup on it, so. I don't know, man. I am super interested in this car, though. It might be worth the risk. Let me fire it up again and see if it uh, starts to run hot. Oh. Oh. But that's the thing, like, it immediately fires up. You know what I'm saying? I hear a little bit of a whine, like a power steering whine. That's nothing new or nothing crazy. Oh, it's got a misfire. Yeah, you can hear it. I can hear it on the, on the upturn. See, she's nice and smooth now, but watch this. Can you hear it? Hear that little... And I can smell it. Is she smoking? Let's look at the trunk and see if she got smoke coming out. I don't know if that... Oh, yeah. She's really misfiring. What's crazy is it could literally just be coils. Look at the big trunk in here. You got to love this, man. Oh, somebody's been in here. Somebody jump it. Trim shine? What the hell y'all doing, man? I don't know, man. This one would be a risk. Because if it's got, you know, cylinder damage or a scoured cylinder or something, which can happen on these, you're taking a really big risk on this car. I don't know. I do not know. Soft closed trunk. I bet you it's got soft closed doors too. Let's see. No? All right. No soft closed doors. All right, let's check the temp. Let's see where she's at. Temperature looks good. She's not running hot. It's just got a misfire. It could be as simple as something as a coil. This wouldn't surprise me at all. You know what I'm saying? Man, this thing... You know what? I think this, I, this this is enough of a risk. Even if she's in bad shape, this would be a lot of good content, and I miss my BMWs. It's time for me to get one, man. I think I need to do it. Owner's manual on deck. Fresh trees on deck. Did somebody leave their registration in here? Okay, let me look at this real quick. All right, so I can't show you this registration, but I can tell you that it's already been registered as a total loss registration. So that means this car was already rebuilt. It's a to it has a total loss claim on it, 
it was already registered um, yeah so yeah do this and cover their information but you can see here total loss claim in that envelope basically means this thing was already rebuilt and now there's another issue now more than likely it's probably the transmission i know you guys are probably like how come you haven't shifted it yet it's in reverse does it move okay so it does go what about drive yep now, the, because the door's open, it'll automatically kick it out of gear. Um, that's not a concern to me. I'll close it to make sure it actually shifts. Someone's going to say, oh, it does that automatically. You know, it's not actually going into gear. All right, we're in drive. Yeah, it moves. Oh, it's got sensors front and back. And they work. More than likely, it has a misfire because it's got bad... Um, what you call it coil packs like the coil packs on it are going bad in a couple on a couple cylinders or maybe it's just one because it doesn't seem too bad but i even hear that i don't know if the mic picks it up listen you can hear that to the dick to the dick during the acceleration so yeah man unfortunately i mean this is going to be one I, I try to bid on i'm just not going to get suckered in and and bid a ton on a vehicle that um, isn't worth it. You know, this is a 2010. It's 10 years old. It does have one of the newer body styles. It's got the newer taillights and whatnot. Not from the newest, newest, but, you know, what is it? Up to 2015, I think it's ha it had this body style, or 2016. So it's not like it's horrible. This reminds me a lot of my 535 F10. Same interior, same setup. Look, she's still running nice and cool, man. Not hot at all. So, yes, it probably needs to have the coolant box refilled with the, the appropriate coolant, not whatever, you know, Mickey Mouse stuff was in here before. All the lights seem to work. I got no errors on lights. No errors on the turn signals or anything. High beams are working. You can see them up there. They work. I mean, for the most part, this car is actually pretty sound like for most of the bmw stuff i worry about i'm worried if this thing has a transmission issue this thing these things were known for having bad solenoids bad electronic parts in the transmission but that doesn't scare me i know how to fix those um i don't have to go to a shop to do that i would just do it myself it's not horrible to do this thing runs fairly well it's got 75 miles of range which means i could get this thing home and it's got different modes you could i like this because it's an m sport mode no i don't want that hush let me go into menu. Let's see if I can go into the uh, driver settings. Sport mode. Drive chain and chassis. But it's funny, it still puts me in comfort mode up here, even though it's in sport mode. It's in sport mode. What I don't understand is it's in sport mode. But it's not changing up here. Normally it changes. Okay, maybe I'm doing something wrong. What am I doing here? Why is this not working? I don't need the, the owner's manual. Okay, there's the traction control. That's gone. I'm trying to get this thing to go into... Okay, that's where I want for that now. Will she go? There you go. Thank you, baby. The little switch here just wouldn't work. Sport Plus. There we go. That's when you want to go full M mode right there. 
you can see the whole car just move. Definitely a lot more response on it now. I'm interested in it. I won't I won't stay here all day and keep you guys occupied, but I I'm definitely interested in this car. Um for sure. I see where it says seat calibration required, but I'm able to move my seat wherever I want. So I don't know what the hell they're talking about. All right. Anywho's, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If if this would be something that would be, if you'd like to see something like this on the channel, this is my wheelhouse. I know I know a lot about BMWs. You guys, a lot of people say, oh, TK doesn't know a lot about cars. I know a lot about German cars. I'm not an American car guy. Haven't been my whole life. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you guys would like to see this BMW M Sport, the 750 M Sport uh, on the channel, I will happily oblige y'all and get this thing in. Well, I love today where most of my cars are organized. They were right next to each other. Has saved me a ton of time. A ton of time. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Ooh, a little bit of carnage for y'all. Look at this. Smashed. Smash! This fusion is done. Done, 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 done. And you want to know why it's done? It's not just the doors. It's like this is all done. That little dent right there, that wouldn't, I don't think that would total it out. But that other part, done. I don't know what this was. A Nissan Xterra, I'm guessing. Toasty! <laughs> Alright. Ah. Let's get up here to my next vehicle of the day. Sorry if I'm showing you, I didn't mean to show you guys the ground. I apologize. We're moving. Yes, we're looking at an Audi. Yes, we are. Audi 2012 A3 Premium in gray with the hatchback, which is very interesting to me. Oh, man, they left it up, though. Why it was left up, I don't know. You can see the water and stuff pooling up in here. Will it close? I can't believe they haven't, like... Yeah, why didn't somebody leave it down like that? It's like somebody doing, doing this crap on purpose to try to keep people from bidding on it. I don't know, man. It's not Copart's fault. It's just the scumbags that come out here to view vehicles. All right, this one's interior is not horrible. Now, what I don't understand is, I guess if you get hit hard enough from the rear, it'll make the airbags deploy. As it has in this case. Oh, and this is a diesel. Look at this. Ultra low sulfur diesel, diesel only. Of course, and somebody was a dick and intentionally left it on. Dicks, man. And it's an S-line. I like this. S-tronic. Paddle shifters on deck. I'm interested. You know what, though? And I'm going to start teaching. <laughs> I'm going to Bose sound system. I'm going to start teaching some of these bidders a lesson. You know, someone say, well, TK, you're going to get stuck with some of these cars. I'll just run them back to the auction. I'm not losing anything. And if I did, it's a tax write-off regardless. So I wouldn't be losing anything. I would get my money back in taxes immediately. But you can see this one here is an S-line, right? You got the S badging in here. The seats do not look bad, even though the back was wide open. Oh, there's some money over there. Some quarters, a quarter and a nickel. I'm good. Um, what is this? <clears throat> Oh, that's for the battery box. So somebody has tried to jump this in the past. The lines and stuff on this car look good. It don't look bad. Like outside of this stuff in the rear, which people will tell me, oh, it can't be fixed. It looks like it will definitely need a hatch, right? For sure. But the glass could be reused, you know. But the rest of the car looks okay. I mean, I see this. And someone's going to say that because of this, this car can't be fixed. And I'm going to say fake news. You know, like, no, I think that car, this is not that serious. Yes, you're going to have to pull it out. But it's not that, like, I, you know, is it ever going to be part of the world? It'll never be right, TK. It'll never be right. It's always going to be messed up. Man, look, people aren't caring about that. People are looking for good deals, a cheap car, something, you know, this could be somebody's dream car. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you how many people have hit me up and was like, man, that old BMW would be my dream car. I wish I could have a BMW. 
TDI too, it's a diesel. This thing's a little beast. It's got the panoramic roof and everything. This thing right here though, with the S-Line, this one could be a winner right here. This could definitely be a winner. All right, this is on my watch list. That means you guys won't see it till after the auction. Oh. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I am highly, highly interested in this little A3. Just because it's a diesel, just because, you know, I don't want to see this thing get destroyed. And I see some of the damage to the front now. I'm seeing some buckled in the, in the plastic. I see the busted rim. You know, now that I'm slowing down and I'm taking a look, it looks like it might have undercarriage damage. Right? I can see that busted rim. That means under the car is probably in rough shape. Let's take a look under it. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see, man. I don't know. I'm going to add it to my watch list. I guess, I guess it'll depend on what it goes for. I may throw some bids on it just to run the numbers up as a, as a F you to the people that keep leaving the damn keys on in these cars. How about that? Next, you know, I'm going to alternate back and forth. We got some Jeep carnage. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and something else that you guys wanted to see uh, that we showed you guys before. But look at this Jeep, man. It was either rolled, picked up, tossed. You know, the motor still looks like it's good. It's just all smashed. Like, this thing is seen better days. I mean, look at the, look at the springs and stuff, man. Look at this shit. This is crazy. Anywho's smashed. Wow. Is all I can say on this one right here. But I'm alternating in, you know, with a minute of carnage here or there for y'all that want to see this kind of stuff. It's not for everybody, but there you have it. Now, you guys have seen this before, and it's now finally coming up for auction. This is a Dodge Ram. This is one that I just was, I was laughing, I was joking and saying, I'm going to try to start it just for shits and giggles with the 5.7 Hemi. There's no way that this is going to start. Well, someone said, fake news, I altered it because there was a clip in the video, and then there was no way that it was actually running. So, we're going to see. I'm hoping the battery's not dead because I want y'all to see... I want y'all to see for yourself, I'm not clipping anything, 81,000 miles on the clock. I am putting the key in the ignition. I am turning it to the on position and I'm starting this carnage up. It runs, damn it. So for all y'all that said fake news, for all y'all that said fake news, running and driving carnage, there you go. Now she's smoking like an SOB though. Alright, that's enough of that. I don't want to I don't want to destroy her. I'm just so happy that it's running. And there we go. So there you go. Now you guys can see that it actually runs. This is from a previous video. It is coming up for auction. So if you are interested, <coughs> oh man, that smoke. Um, if you are interested in it, it is available, and outside of it being totally smashed in the front, it's a pretty good truck. You know, the motor works, so, hey, you might be able to get, it looks so bad, you might be able to get a hell of a deal off of it. I don't need it, though. I got, a, I already got my own 5.7 parked in the backyard, but there you have it. All right, guys, last on my week, this last on my week, last on, for the day is this 2004 GMC Yukon, a.k.a. a nicer Tahoe. <laughs> this thing is in really good shape. There's no body damage. The bumper, even though this thing is literally sitting right on it, uh, is not bad. The interior is not horrible. Um, you can see the leather seats here are in really, really good condition. I'm very happy about that. And you'll see if we go here to the interior, the rear is not bad. It looks like, if you see all those cables, that there was a massive, massive system. So if you bought this, you could literally just wire up something new um, right in here. It looks like they had a massive system, and I'm going to show you some of the things that this thing probably had. Now, it is listed as a run and drive. We will test it out. 
Spoiler, I did open the hood and look at its fluids and stuff before we got in here. I haven't started it yet, though. But when you get here, look at this. Myrtle Beach Truck Week, Black Optics Tint, blackoptictint.com. I don't know why I'm showing their websites. Maybe they'll sponsor me. Who knows? RTIC, Vans. You can see all the stuff here. Look at this. This is how you know, like, they had some boom and stuff in here. Look at the amount of tweeters just sitting here. Power acoustics. But there was like, it was like a row of them, right? Or like they were all on like one thing up here, right? On some kind of apparatus, probably. Pioneer aftermarket system, right? Leather seats are leaned back. You know, you got the DVD monitor up here. Let's see if she fires up. I am interested to know. Inquiring minds want to know. All right, half tank of gas, battery doesn't look bad. Hey, she almost didn't want to fire up, but she fired up. Bluetooth audio, the radio looks kind of cool. Traction control is off. Let me find the traction control button and we'll see if we have an ABS issue. Yep. So when you see that, the brake ABS thing pop up like this, normally there's like a little sensor and it means it probably has a bad wheel hub too. Oh, wait a minute. There's no brakes. Like you can hear it straight, straight to the floor. Listen, listen. You can hear the, the system. There's no brakes. See, service brake booster. Y'all see that? service the brake booster all right well that tells me that if there's no brakes i mean this thing will probably go for nothing brake system on this truck is not in my experience and i did one on the envoy um not real difficult to service okay if it needs a booster you replace the booster maybe some hydraulic lines if it got damaged under the vehicle but damn i really want to see if this thing would go into gear and i can't really without hitting the stuff in front and back of me so I can't do that that sucks um, let's see if the radio works it says no service yeah all right we'll just turn this off for now so the radio does work got Bose speakers all the way around they had subs in the back nice tweeters up here and over here I don't know man this thing could probably be a good little truck it's not running hot oil pressure looks good right battery looks good it sounds like the exhaust sounds good too This one does not look too bad, man. I might be really interested in this one. Let's see if the AC works. I'm not seeing any RPM change. None. Oh, wait a minute. I heard it click. try it again nope all right that's not a good thing not a good thing at all well it probably is going to go for really cheap i'm probably going to bid really heavy on this one just because of the fact that i know it's got the 5.3 v8 in it right it runs it's got how many miles on it let's look and see what the mileage is on it wow it's got a bunch of crap in here i ain't seen before automatic locking let's see if we can get back to
annual log. So in, <laughs> it says 152,000 miles in the annual log. Okay. Oh, 152,917. But it did say annual log. I don't know. 152,000 miles is not anything for this truck. Um, and being a 04, I mean, this is the 5.3 before any of that active fuel management. This is basically an LS. And she sounds good. Look at the look at the mirror over there. Let me zoom y'all in. See that mirror? Now watch. Nice steam coming up. Look, I think this thing might go for uh, the right amount of money. This might be a good vehicle. I can fix the brake system, maybe have it done professionally so that nobody gives me crap about it. But if you think this would be a great giveaway car, if, the, if you think this would be a great giveaway candidate for somebody, for their family, let me know in the comment section down below. I think this could be a hell of a steal. But that's just me. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. I do smell coolant out here. I wonder if it does have a head gasket issue. Or maybe it's oil. I don't know what I smell. Oh, you know what it might be? The brakes. That might be brake fluid or, or hydraulic fluid I'm smelling. But look, the tires don't look horrible. They definitely need tires up front, though. But it's cool. It's got these uh, Nitos um, Extreme Terrain tires on it. I mean, even the suspension, everything looks good on this truck, man. <sighs> the one thing I would be worrying about being the brakes, <sighs> it's not that difficult to work on this thing, man. I don't see any leakage down there in the wheel or around the caliper. It might just be that the booster is bad, you know? It might just be the... Let's take a look at the booster. It might just be the brake booster. Oh. It literally may just be the brake booster. Right. Hood is up and locked. I see they got funnels over there. That's never a good sign. All right. Yeah, she's about out of brake fluid. So the brake system is definitely leaking somewhere. But I'm willing to bet if we put some fluid in it, she probably has some stopping power. You can see, look at the heavy cables, the fusible link in here for the sound system. I'm willing to bet they got all kinds of stuff running in this fuse box. Does the alternator look like it's upgraded? No, not really. But I can see here, you can see here where they tied all this stuff in, into the battery, down here. Big Vortec. Let me make sure this is the 5.3, right? I gotta go around to the other side. So yeah, it's a 5.3 liter V8. 5.3 liter. It doesn't look bad. Let me take a look at the oil. I mean, it was running fine, man. But I'll take a look at it. Look at that, it's even clean. Oh, let's see, let's play the game. Long stick and a little hole. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ah, I got it. <laughs> Level up. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this one.